In this video, we will talk about the law of science. So, what is the law of science? The law of science is also known as the sine rule, which might be more familiar to most of the students. It is used to figure out the unknown angle measures and side lengths of non-right angle triangles. For example, if you want to find out the angles or size of the mystery triangle, you have to ask yourself first if it is a right angle triangle or not. If it is, you might have to use Pythagoras theorem or Sokatoa. On the other hand, if it is a right angle triangle, you can use the law of sines. Now, this is the main formula of the sine rule. The law of sines can be written as sine A over A equals to sine B over B equals to sine C over C. Then, why is the law of sines true? So first, the formula to find the area of the triangle is 1 over 2 AB sine C. And as the sides are not assigned, it doesn't matter which sides are chosen as A, B, and C. Then, 1 over 2 BC sine A is equal to 1 over 2 AC sine B is equal to 1 over 2 AB sine C. When the equation is multiplied by 2 over ABC, we will get the sine rule equation. But still, how do we know that this is true? For example, in the figure, let 84.3 as an angle A, 62.2 as angle B, and 33.5 as angle C. Then, let 9 to be A, 8 to be B, and 5 to be C. Next, if we substitute the measures in the sine rule equation, we will get 0.11 for all of them. Therefore, the law of sine is true. As we finish understanding the law of sine, let's figure out this example question together. In the figure, the two angles are given as 35 and 105, and one side is given as 7. We can know that angle B and side AC are the matching set when we look in the figure. Then, substitute the measures in the formula like step 1. Next, cross multiply to get rid of fractions. Next, let the equation in terms of C. When calculated, we will get the value for C by using the sine rule. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and learned something more about the law of signs.